Good afternoon. Today is Thursday, May 28th. General view. The wildlife have been created when people left. Ready and endangered animals have thrived in the Chernobyl disaster zone since it was evacuated in 1986 as a new wildlife tour in southern Belarus shows. It is 5.30 a.m. in southern Belarus. A pink moon hangs over flat fields tinged with frost and, and as we and Sorry, and as we arrive at the checkpoint on the edge of the Chernobyl exclusion zone, five hours driving south of the capital, Minsk, and down Cholos of Cranius and the Hupils is in full swing. The May seems an unlikely place to come with life you watching, but I am here with the first echo tour of the Palieski State Rad Radio Ecological Reserve as the Belar Belarusian sections of the zone is called. It was a pre April 1986 uh, uh, that probably the world's worst nuclear accident happened just over the border in the north Ukraine. A dramatization of the disaster is currently showing on Sky Atlantic. Chernobyl town was evacuated at the exclusion zone today, cover 2,600 square kilometers in Ukraine and 2,100 square kilometers in Belarus. Ukraine turned its part of the zone into a tourist attraction several years ago. 15,000 people visited the nuclear reactor in the ghost town of Pripyat last year. And the and it has even hosted a rave, but Belarus didn't open in Palieski Reserve to visitors until last December. The Ukrainian site is now popular from the early ghost town and director ruins, but on this side of the border is all about the wideners and the Albert Tower. Our tour will be a natural nature watching trip uh, like no others. The reserve claims to be Europe's legacy experiment in rewilding and the unlikely beneficiaries of nuclear disaster have been the wolves, bison and bears that now roam the depopulated landscape and the 231 of the countries the 333 34 bird species that can also be found here. After uh, an initial hitch with our park work, few things are bureaucracy free in Belarus. Thought new Rex Rex the visa recruitment mean Brits are now sparing a trip to the embassy near near Kensington Gardens. We made our guide, uh, Valerie Yurko, a spry ornithologist. Our visit is limited to seven hours, and I am mean to sing as much as possible. We start in the museum, which has some memorably bad text there, before setting off to try to spot the real things. Elk are the most common mammal here, and it not, does not take as long to see a young male stand with his legs half buried in the patch of a swamp. As we continue along the forest track that once was once the man who to be to the Ukrainian capital Kiev, Yorko says there is a 50 50 uh, chance we will see a wolf. They are around a hundred of these carnivores in the park as the hunting is banned here. The animals are slowly losing their fear of humans. We stop at the Soviet observation tower in the middle of the reserve. The pylon-like structures, 30 meters tall, would be a personal help for vertigo sufferers, with it being metal rungs on the ti uh, tiny platform uh, of some crazy birds. The climb test might usually reliable head for highest. 
but it's worth the effort. From the top, we can see the honking metal scarfagus covering the blown reactor at Chernobyl and get a panoramic view of the villages of the exclusion zone, which are now at but slowly by vegetation. The previous uh, that had visited one of the reserves abandoned settlement, Droniki, when the villages uh, 232 inhabitants were evacuated. They didn't have long to back, uh, pack, and the flowers of the wounded houses are still scarred with shoes, cigarette boxes, and the children's jotters that April 1986 is a poignant sight. Natural may not nature may be benefiting, but they came at great cost for the people evacuated from the zone. Nearly the 350,000 in total, and the million who have followed the sick all are considered to be contaminated by the accident. The greatest uh, writer on Chernobyl, investigative journalist, and the Nobel Prize winner Svetlana Alex. Alexevich wrote in the 1997 book Chernobyl Prayer, Prayer that she was recording the future among Dronik's crumbling wall, walls and the sanding roofs, collapsed defenses and the bronze village with a modern harvest and the wind, uh, winter reserve. We see a flash forward to walls without people. We see the familiar creatures of town and the fa farmland dwindling and animals long since pushed to, to the wide ages of Europe taking their place. The sparrows, rooks and the white stocks are giving way to white-tailed eagles, lynx and wolves. And the radiation? Uh, York tells me the level I am exposed to during the visits is a less than I'd get on the translatant flight. But what about the animal that uh, live and feed here? It's a uh, it is a constant issue among scientists. Some research has found troubling signs of the fallout fall related desire and desires and mutation, but another study recorded a large population of mammals in the zone. We don't yet uh, have the full picture according to Victor Fekuc, project manager of the Widnerans conservation programs in Belarus and one of the country's most senior conservationists. The reserve could be an ecological trap where animals move in and then develop healthy problems. He tells me, but the evidence so far is that on the population level, the effect of irradiation is not visible. Our driver, in looking pointedly at his watch, wolves have eluded us, as they we've only seen the seen the hoof twin prints of the wide Przewalskin horses on the distance, throwing uh, a sound of the black growth cart ship, known as lacking. To see the birds up close, you apparently need to be in the position by 4 a.m. But we don't spy one of the park's rarest birds, the greater spooky eagle. These raptors are particularly shy of the humans and the Palieski Reserve is the only place in the Belarus where their numbers are rising. Valery Dombrovsky, a world expert of the species, has silvering hair and the beltific look of someone in love in, in his work. Joining our group, he explained that these scrubby fields are not the eagle's typical habitat. habitat. They usually favor Marshall land. But he says, I am starting to wonder if, if it is the water way round and they adapted to wet areas to avoid the people. We spot an eagle high above the plane, performing a display flight, adversity uh, its its ownership of a territory as we watch through binoculars, it is swooping and soars and is seemingly for sheer joy. 
drop ducks and the wings into a stop a uh, stoop to drop like a fall, falling star into the blue it's the final moment of the hour my seven hours are up the trip was provided by the AP, APB Body Life in Belarus, which runs eco tours at the, over the country. A two-day tour to the Chernobyl Accidental Wildlife Sanctuary, including two seven hours visits, guide meals, transfer from Minsk, and the accommodation in Shoiniki Town. Cost four, se, uh, 470 pounds, based on the group of four. This is very interesting. Okay, after the, the Chernobyl disaster, the wildlife is now uh, is right now in this uh, evacuate zone or the nuclear zone in Chernobyl. It's a good uh, news, but I know is the problems after uh, with the uh, radiation contamin uh, contamination uh, is a. Uh, is a great is a, the highest level in this in their uh, their zone uh, but the nature uh, fine uh, is finding now uh, recovering in that zone now it's interesting no thank you very much to watch my new video see if you want to learn english or talk with me in english come here at class for the diamonds okay oh we can to do class by skype in the world uh, any world uh, any place in the world thank you very much for my uh, uh, every everybody uh, uh, thank you very much for my friends in different countries in the world he see you uh, soon the other in, uh, interesting news thank you very much see you soon Bye. Wildlife can flourish in the most extreme places, including within the exclusion zone of the worst nuclear disaster the world has ever seen, Chernobyl. In 1986, a reactor exploded in the Ukrainian nuclear facility. A deadly fire raged for days claiming the lives of 31 men who were first on the scene. Since then, potentially many thousands more lives have been lost from the effects of radiation. At the time of the disaster, 600,000 workers arrived to help clean the contamination on site and in the surrounding area. And I should imagine that Within a radius of about 30 or 40 miles, people would have to be evacuated for quite a long time. Chernobyl was declared too radioactively dangerous for full-time human habitation for at least 24,000 years, and a thousand square mile exclusion zone was put into place, meaning the towns and villages near Chernobyl were abandoned. Although tourists are permitted to take day trips today, with no human residents in 30 years, wildlife has reclaimed the land. It's thought the lack of human interference counteracts any negative effects of radiation on the wild population. Wolves. Foxes and bears are all commonplace. And dogs roam the abandoned streets, thought to be descended from pets that were left behind 30 years ago. In the 1990s, the endangered Chevalsky's horse was introduced to the area as part of a conservation program. Although the long-term effect on most animals in the exclusion zone is unknown, eight feet long catfish in the area's radioactive cooling ponds have been spotted. Although it's not yet known if they've grown so big because of changes to their DNA or simply because of a lack of fishing. There are still many unknowns about the long-term effects on the wildlife of Chernobyl, but it certainly makes for a fascinating place to see animals in this unique, unintended nature reserve.